All right, so another thing I'm, I'm going to add to this look as well is uh, a vignette just to kind of help sell the depth of the shot. So effect, new solid. And I'm actually going to start naming my stuff at this point. So this will be uh, shadow. This is uh, foreground particles. And this is our background. Okay, so for this vignette here, just take our circle. We can just double click on it if your shadow is selected. We can just play around with the mask here. So this to subtract. Turn this on. We'll just play around with the feather on this. We'll have to move some of these points. Because it's just the bottom where I want the shadow to start appearing, maybe somewhere on this side here. So we'll just play with the expansions here. Go this way off. A feather. And the overall opacity. We don't want it to be completely dark, but just kind of get some more depth into our shot. So before and after. This sells it a little bit more. And also, I'll be throwing in a fractal noise in the back here, just animate, just to show that there's some cloudy areas and kind of gives the water a bit more of a murky look. So, make another solid. We'll put it underneath our caustics, and those will just be a fractal. Set up our fractal noise. We'll set this one to screen as well. I believe soft light might work, yeah. And then we'll just lower the opacity of this way down to like maybe 10%. Now you may not be able to see the effect there. But it just breaks up all the color in the background, just so you have something going on. I'll post it just a, a little bit of a green on it. Okay, so at this point we're ready to bring in our uh, character here. So we'll just clean this up here. So in our project, we'll file, import, files. Okay, we'll grab our body, we'll make sure it's set to PNG sequence. Now I'm just going to interpret my footage here. I can set this to 24 frames a second, pre-multiplied. Can't seem to click OK here. It's just a little bit too far out of my reach. Just hit Enter. OK. So here's our jellyfish. And we'll also need to bring in our tentacles. Set this to PNG sequence. And we'll also need to interpret that as well. 24 frames, pre-multiplied. And we'll drag our tentacles down. Okay, great. So we need to do a little bit of work on this. So I'm going to turn off our tentacles for now. And we need to color correct our jellyfish here. So we're going to throw on a color correction curves, color correction levels. Just play with these two for a little bit here. So, this these curves a little bit. I'm going to take out, bring in some blue, take out a little bit of our green. I believe it is just a little bit of red taken away here. All right, we'll play with the levels. And also I'm going to throw on a hue saturation. I'm just going to play with the saturation of this guy all together. I think he's just got a little bit too much going on. Around there. 
right? And we don't quite have the, the green that we're looking for, so I have to come back to our channels here. Just So I'll just go play around with these levels until I kind of get them to the green I'm looking for here. Getting a little bit closer. Still got a little bit too much saturation in this. Alright, so that's getting pretty close to what we want. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and duplicate our jellyfish. And this bottom one that we're going to have is we're going to actually blur this out. And this will allow us to kind of make it look ahead, like it has a bit of a haze to it all together. Like murky water going on. Okay, so before and after. Okay, so we're all set and ready to finish this up by just getting our tentacles all set up. All right, so to do this, we're going to take our tentacles and we're going to duplicate them. So if we take a look at our jellyfish here, our tentacles have some color, and then down here they have nothing. It's just pure black. So we're going to tell the tentacles to use the light value of the tentacles above it. So when we do that, you can see very carefully that we do have some values, but see, our colors weren't pure white. They were kind of in the middle. So to fix that, we'll just select the tentacles that we're using the luma mat of, and we're going to do a color correction, go to levels, and we're just going to tell all those colors to be pure white. And to do that, it will bring back our shot. So, or bring back our tentacles, sorry. So now we just need to color correct them and get them ready. So we'll just pre-compose these tentacles. Right, we'll put them on top of our jellyfish and we're going to add a color correction levels. And what I'm doing here is I'm going to tell all the values of this composition to be pure black. So this will kind of in a sense reset its color. So now they're pure black so I'm going to add another color correction levels and I'm going to tell the values to be um, gray. So now all our colors are reset to the same thing. Then I can go ahead and throw in a color correction like curves and start playing around with it to match the green of our scene. So I'm just going to brighten these up a little bit. I'm going to add some green to the shot and maybe some blues or we'll remove some blue. And I'm thinking of changing the color here. So it looks like we're going up to hot sun. So I'm going to add a little bit of red to this. And if I go down to our background layer and change this bright green to maybe something a little bit more yellow. Let's bring it back a little bit. I just like the effect that it almost looks like it's going up to a, a hotter sun there. All right, perfect. So take a look at these tentacles. They seem to be working fine. We're going to go ahead and duplicate one of them and the one that's on bottom we're gonna give that a Gaussian blur set this to 10 and uh, I'm not sure actually if I want to put the Gaussian blur on yet I'm not happy with our colors yet so just come back into our levels here. I'm going to play with our... Yeah, it's just too bright for me right now. Go into our channel. Bring that down. Okay, that's looking better. So now I'll go ahead and duplicate the tentacles. And I'll give this a Gaussian Blur. Effect, Blur and Sharpen. Gaussian Blur. Set this to 10. Alright, and actually I'm going to take our jellyfish, the original one, so not the one that's Gaussian blurred, but I'm actually in fact going to give that a one pixel blur, just to help it blend into our background a little bit, and make it 
seem just a little bit more murky in the shot. All right, so one last thing I want to do, and I usually do this to all my shots, is I throw in one more uh, layer on top, which is an adjustment layer. And what an adjustment layer will do is it will uh, treat everything that's underneath it and affect them overall. So if I do like a color correction, everything in the scene will actually receive this color correction. So at this point, I can really brighten up the scene overall. So bring it up and, you know, overall color correction. So if I want some reds, everything will kind of get that look to it. Just want to have it a little bit hotter up there. Let me take out our greens because I'm finding it too colorful right now. Blues. It makes it a little bit softer if I bring that up. And I also want to affect our overall levels to really make our shadows pop, clamp everything in. Alright, so I bring this down almost makes like the jellyfish is emitting some light, which looks good. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and render this out real quick as an FLV and I will show everybody what our final result is. Okay, so our guy's all rendered out and set to an FLV here, so let's see what we got. Okay, so overall this is pretty close to what the original was. Our tentacles are a bit long. Uh, to get them shorter, you could just uh, lower the uh, attenuation on the Omnilight. Uh, the lower that number, the shorter the tentacles are going to be. And uh, also notice here that the tentacles are uh, a lot more wavier than, one that I, than the ones I made. Uh, if you want to fix that, uh, it's purely just the strength of the gravity. So just go into uh, the noise properties of the uh, controller that we gave the strength and just lower that down. I think right now we're at 0.73. Uh, I would probably cut mine in half and bring that down. And um, also don't be afraid to do uh, animation previews uh, within 3D Studio Max. It's really good to see your results before you actually do the renders. So I, I just want to give another shout out to uh, this tutorial here by Short Form Videos. Uh, this is uh, essentially the tutorial I followed to help create the underwater scene I did with the jellyfish. So uh, uh, big shout out to him. Uh, Digital Tutors, uh, uh, not sure what to say. They endless, endless amounts of tutorials. Uh, you just can't watch them all. Uh, I'd like to thank their... Uh, this new one, Creative Development Modeling, Rigging a Cartoon Shark in 3D Studio Max. This is actually what uh, made me inspired to go make an underwater scene of a jellyfish. So, um, big thanks to them. And uh, please feel free to check out alimonero.com. Uh, I've got a few other uh, videos here. One about a uh, hammer jumping across screen. Everything from modeling, rigging, to texturing, animation, compositing. So, please feel free to check out for more tutorials.